What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've got a new RC car here. This is the 116th Breaker. Made by a company called Cheerwing, U-D-I-R-C. Again, this is a 116th scale RC car. It is four wheel drive, got ESP. It comes with dual tires. One set for off-road, one set for drifting and uh, smooth surfaces. And I really wanted a smaller RC car like this for you know driving inside my house or inside my garage just when I don't have time to take out the larger 10 and 8 scale vehicles. So this is gonna be really great for you know smaller areas and things like that. Uh, it does have a lithium battery. Now this does have a built-in gyro stabilizer. It has its own ESC that's built into one unit. And it does have a full set of altering tires and a full set of smooth drifting tires as well. Now I kind of foresee myself using the drift tires like 90% of the time anyways, but yeah, it's good to know that you can take this off-road uh, out on some rougher pavement should you wish to do so. So anyways, let's go ahead and zoom on in and check out the Breaker 116th scale RC. All right, up close and personal with the Breaker 116th scale RC car. Let's go ahead and take this out of the box really quick. Now I purchased this kit on Amazon. I will put a link in the description below. Definitely make sure to check that out. This thing is looking good. UDIRC. Gear wing. This is the Breaker RC. And as you see here on the back, this also says Panther. This is a different body style, but essentially the same vehicle. But of course I went with the Breaker because it reminds me a little bit more of that Arma. Really, really cool stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up really quick before we get on to the car though. Let's see what's inside here. We get the full manual here. Check out this radio. It's really, really high quality for one of these smaller RCs that have kind of more toy grade, but this is looking really good actually. We got a full foam wheel, folks. Really nice feeling. Got a throttle in reverse there. And as you can see here, this is a four channel system. So you got one, two, three, which is a button, and then four, which is a three dial selection. Of course, you got your on off there. You've got ESP, steering trim, steering dual rate. You've got throttle and steering reversing as well. You've got green and red indicators for transmitter and receiver. Really cool stuff. Built-in antenna, which is really, really more of a shark fin. Um, just some really high quality product or something of this scale and size and price point. There it is. Woo really, really love this scale, you guys. So as you can see here, it's got the white rims, which I'm really not a fan of, but the drift tires have an all black rim, which I definitely am a fan of. Get a little bit of suspension there. I doubt that these are oil filled, quite a bit bouncy. But there it is, really, really great body style. As you can see the front of that there, uh, this has full LEDs that are actually working. You've got one tail light there, dual headlights, really cool stuff. Let's go ahead and take these body clips out. And this will be connected because of those front headlights, as you can see there. Set dust like this. Here is your included LiPo battery. And it's actually a Lion battery, not a LiPo, which is stated on the box. Lithium ion is what that stands for. Since you got two cells here, composed in a plastic housing there. You got your three pin charging port, your dual pin connector that will connect directly to the RC. You got your built in ESC there. Let's see what this says. This says tail light, headlamp, 2.4 gigahertz, 7.4 volts. This is your brushed motor. Says caution warning hot. I could probably throw a heat sink on that. Uh, there's your on off button right there on the side. I'd probably say that's a little bit more than half an inch of travel there, which is pretty nice. So the front got pretty nice action right here in the back. Just really stiff. I doubt that you'll get any travel out of the way that this car is so light that it probably won't even get actuated. I need to pick up some lighter springs for that rear. You can see all four wheels spin when I spin one wheel, so those diffs, not really present there. I can actuate them if I really try, but yeah, no use out of any, any of those diffs there. The amount of play is not bad. 
These are all your small little goodies. All right, so these are your drift wheels and tires. Looking much better than those white doohickeys that are on there right now. Yeah, this plastic tire will let you brake traction and get a nice drift. Really cool. I'm actually going to put these on right away so you guys can get a look and feel of how that seems when I pop those on. You've also got your lithium ion charger, USB connection, which does not include a power brick, but let's be honest, we all have those at home from all our old iPhones and everything like that. Good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this with the charger for a little bit, get some power and juice to be able to run this truck and get you some drive footage at the end of the video. Here's our small parts bag. Looks like we got a couple extra links. You've got your wheel tool there. Uh, you even got a small Phillips head screwdriver and then a smaller Allen key. And they also give you one, two, three, four extra body clips. All right, so let's go ahead and swap some wheels really quick. Cross drilled and slotted. Wow, nice. Of course, all plastic here. The drive shafts themselves are metal though, surprisingly. Oh yeah, I'm already liking that as it is. Really, really tiny screw and bolt here. Got to take care to not over torque these. I'm used to working on larger vehicles than this. All right, swap over to the other side here. These off-road tires will be kind of cool. I want to, you know, mess around with it. Let the kids play with it outside. Let them destroy these wheels and tires. Not have to worry about my good drift wheels getting messed up. Looking sweet. Looking very sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and pop the battery in. I've got a little bit of juice in here. Should be enough to get you some pretty cool indoor footage. Really love this attachment. That battery holder is really, really nice. Connect her up. And before we do that, let's go ahead and install the batteries into our transmitter. And this is ready to run. It does include a lithium ion battery, even though it does state lipo battery which is incorrect it does not have a lipo it has a lithium ion lion battery um, there are no double a's unfortunately for the transmitter so you're gonna have to supply your own but other than that everything else is included and ready to run all right so i've got my four double a's that i'm gonna install into the transmitter here by the way shout outs to those that know what's up with monoprice got these batteries out of steel on their website pretty awesome Got your LED lights there, as you can see, RX and TX is blinking. All right, so let's go ahead and power this car on, shall we? Let's go ahead and connect the power connector. Everything is good. I'm going to go ahead and hit the body here. Look how sweet that truck looks with those black rims. So much better. Really, really cool stuff here. And hit the power button on the bottom here. You can see your rear tail light. You got your front LEDs. Uh, the centers are clear white, and then you've got a halo red, which is really awesome. as I turn the steering trim, you see the wheels actuate instantly. Servo is pretty dang fast. Ooh. Nice, some, some nice drifting action there. A little burnout. By the way, that brake light doesn't do anything, it just stays on. Uh, let's see what some of these buttons do here. As you can see, you can change out the brake light, you can change out the headlights to just be solid white. You turn on that halo effect and then turn both off. 
Really cool. Really decent graphics. A lot of times with these cheaper cars, you get some really obnoxious graphics. Um, as a designer myself, I would clean up a little bit of this, but overall it is not bad looking at all. Really nice air effects. That bottom lip scoop there. This is kind of a rough matte plastic textured. Got a nice little fake grill there. Those LED lights look awesome. Got your little roll cage here. Little spoiler at the back. Of course your on off button. Hold it down for maybe about two seconds and the car turns on or off. As you can see, the LED indicator lights. Once I turn the car off, the transmitter starts blinking. I think that's kind of reverse though. Shouldn't the transmitter be on and then the receiver be blinking? I don't know. That's just myself. But yeah, once I turn the car back on, that TX light will stay solid red. Pick up the throttle. Reverse, forward, and brake. I'm going to hit a second time for reverse. And that's it. Now, of course, these linkages, nothing's um, adjustable. You really can't make any adjustments to your toe in, toe out, or your camber. Everything is uh, preset from the factory, and it is what it is. Nice little wind air effect on the bottom there. You've got a foam bumper here at the front. Observe those impacts. Really cool stuff. And that is the car, you guys. So let's go ahead and take this inside on some hardwood flooring and get you guys some run footage of this baby. Check it out, really cool.